Hey there Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your first week of 2024. Happy New Year to all of you Pisces folks out there. Just wanted to let you know I've also got a sale going on throughout the month of January, a New Year's resolution sale. So for those of you who do have some goals or accomplishments that you would like to accomplish this year, might want to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com, and schedule a session with me, and we can have a look and see you know, what are the best routes, times, strategies, and, uh, you know, the assets that may show up to help in bringing a goal about if that is something that you're ready to get down to business and work on at this time. So let's get down to business with this week's read, however, and uh, so you're going to have to give me a second, as I always do, to charge up these cards, and we'll see what's in store for the week ahead. One moment. All right, spiritual themes, money and material concerns, news from other people, challenges, and love. When it comes to your spiritual theme or the big focus of the week, you've got the Eight of Swords upright. Escapable problems uh, is, is a good uh, abbreviation for the interpretation of this card, because the Eight of Swords is all about um, paralysis, stuckness, or entrapment that doesn't need to be. But for whatever reason, whether it's self or internally imposed or other or externally imposed, it has gone on. With the Eight of Swords upright, you may be finding that this week you are having a lot of important moments where you're kind of seeing why certain things are stuck the way they are um, and what you can do to escape from them, what you can do to effectively cut yourself free. Now, this can be a week of a lot of difficult moments of revelation or even difficult conversations here and there because we do have sometimes situations that come up in life where the only reason something is stuck the way it is is because we're sticking to an old plan or we're trying to appease somebody or we are doing it a way that's not going to work or we, we're holding on to something because we think we need to finish what we started. But with the Eight of Swords upright, pay attention to where the escapes are possible and understand where the, the cause and the effect in certain areas where things might be stuck, where they don't need to be stuck, or, or, or staying in a certain way when they shouldn't stay a certain way. What's going on there? Because again, a lot of solutions can come when this card shows up, even though they might be inconvenient solutions or inconvenient revelations. When it comes to your material circumstances, work, job, finances, practical affairs, as it relates to your home and family life, You've got the Five of Pentacles upright. So the Five of Pentacles upright, uh, not going to mince words. You know, I, prefer, I, think, I think honesty is better than appeasement. This is going to be a week where, yes, there is going to likely be some kind of lack, loss, disappointment, or possibly um, an unexpected expense or, uh, or, or dead end that is hit with a plan, uh, be it professional, financial, or household. With the Five of Pentacles, this could also show up in a way where we have to um, steer ourselves in a different direction in order to avoid more loss. Now, with the Five of Pentacles, that can be distressing news, but it's important to remember with the Five of Pentacles is that there's also a hidden message or another, another lesson in the card. 
there is something that is demanding more priority than maybe you've had a chance to give it or than you thought you could give it. A lot of the times this can sometimes show up as better roads, better professional paths, better financial opportunities, better um, you know, living arrangements, whatever's going on, but we might not necessarily be entertaining those. Maybe we've gotten kind of stuck, right? Eight of Swords on a certain path or a certain plan or a certain work ethic or whatever going a certain way. But with the Five of Pentacles, what often happens is, is the, the losing road does lose. Uh, but at the same time, the winning road is revealed, given priority, getting lifted up. And it's up to us to be ready to accept it and shift gears where it's necessary. And so be prepared for that. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, you've got the Page of Cups in reverse. This week, you may find yourself in a situation where you have to get ready to um, put some distance between yourself and a contact that um, may be trying to uh, impose something on you through excessive attention, excessive sweetness, exce excessive affection, unwanted attention. A lot of the times the Page of Cups reverse can be the card of uh, sort of the person that might be trying to coax or sway or compel or coerce uh, with their actions. More often compellence than coercion though. A lot of the times this can show up where a person is trying to butter us up, they're trying to manipulate, they're trying to um, maybe even make themselves look extremely weak or vulnerable and desperate while also being super complimentary and affectionate at the same time. This can also sometimes show up as stalking behavior or people who are trying to get something out of you or extract something from you. And you may decide that uh, you've had enough with whoever this person is. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Pentacles reversed is basically a, a message of pack your bags. Now, it doesn't mean all the Pisces people are packing their bags and, and, and doing all kinds of stuff this week like that, but it is a pack your bags kind of message because the Ten of Pentacles reversed is all about an impending transition, something that is already getting underway. It's, it's going to happen, um, but probably not all at once, like not right now, not today, but you know, over the course of the next month or so, this is going to start to develop. Now, the Ten of Pentacles reversed doesn't have to be a bad card. I've often seen this show up as very good news, especially for people who are looking to pack their bags and maybe change work situations, change environments, change whatever. But it could be coming in an inconvenient time. This could also, however, indicate an opportunity for some kind of bonus or surprise win that is coming to you uh, in your life that you needed to make sure that you handle well. Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles reverse can show up as unexpected good luck. Uh, in the short term, that's kind of like a one-time uh, bit of loot, bit of, uh, bit, of, bit of goodness that we want to make sure that we can uh, savor, something that we can be more like the ant instead of the grasshopper with, uh, proverbially speaking, so that we do not squander waste or maybe uh, invest it in the wrong things or reinvest in things that are obviously meant to be going away with this transition. Um, so be prepared. You're, you're kind of challenged to keep all of this in mind because I know that that one was a little bit all over, but that's what was coming forward. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Two of Cups upright. And so this week, relationships are starting to get a lot closer because of the crystallization of a new status or some kind of new evolution in an important bond. Now, for those of you who are single or are mere, or are, excuse me, um, maybe available to new people, or you've been seeing somebody, uh, but you know, it's, we're not official yet, this could be a week where an important conversation, an important meeting, or an important share starts to redefine the bond or evolve an important bond or, uh, or, or connection. With the Two of Cups, this is a time of vulnerability. This is a time of getting a chance to let everyone's walls come down. Very, very sweet and very, very intimate. 
For those of you who are coupled or are married, this is going to be a week where a lot of you are also getting a chance to redefine um, maybe some kind of work that we have been doing as a couple, as a union. The Two of Cups is all about, again, renewed or, or redefined or new intimacy, new transparency, new closeness in a relationship. And this can also indicate an evolution in status in terms of title, what we call ourselves. And this is also likely with the Two of Cups upright also going to be a week where um, an, a boundary or, or some kind of barrier or, or uh, wall in a relationship is now getting eroded and coming down. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Mm -hmm.